Hi there, hey, welcome back to your Daily Dose TV. Now the social media streets have been filled with very many couples, but two of them stand out the most. That is, the Kabus, made up of Simon and his wife Sarah, and the Wajizas family, made up of Kabi and his wife Mili. These two couples seem to be sharing a deep friendship and work relationship, so today we would like to explore more of the similarities that exist between the two families. Number one, both families own thriving businesses. Starting with the Kabus, Simon and Sarah are both co-owners of the Bonfire Adventures. This company is said to be worth half a billion Kenya shillings. It is a giant in the tours and travel sector for both local and international destinations. On the other hand, the Wajizas family are owners of the Bossman brand, which is a clothing store for men wears. It was officially launched in 2021. Number two, they are couple goals. Whoever said that it is not possible to mix business and pleasure must have been wrong because the example that we have gotten from the Kabus and the Wajizas is that you can actually live and work with your spouse and both marriage and work can end up being successful. Both of them are very enterprising couples who are smashing glass ceilings in their different sectors. Number three, when it comes to gifting, these couples know how to give top-notch gifts. In 2017, Simon Kabu made news and broke the internet when he gifted his wife Sarah a Range Rover and a cake. It is said that the birthday cost 30 million Kenya shillings. This birthday was so memorable and so much fun. On the other hand, in 2020, Mili Wajizas surprised her husband Kabi Wajizas with a brand new Audi and a family portrait on a huge billboard as his birthday gift upon turning 30 years old. Number four, these couples are home owners. You know, it is everybody's dream to own your own home where you don't have to pay rent. Now, the Kabus own a dream home which has defined elegance and opulence. It is a five-bedroom story house and it has been tastefully designed with unique interior deco pieces. They also have a home garden where they've planted some vegetables and legumes. Sarah says that it's a reflection of their village upbringing. On the other hand, the Kabus are renting a home but they are also constructing their very own dream home. We don't know how far they have gone yet, but what we know it is that they are still working on it. And we cannot wait to see that when the home is complete and they are doing a house tour. I'm sure it will be something magnificent. But then how did this couple meet? <laughs> Social media had a huge role to play when it came to how these couples met. Let us start with the Kabus. Back then, Google groups were the in things like Facebook and WhatsApp right now. And so they were in the same professional group and the group tasked both Sarah and Simon back then when they were not a couple to organize a trip. That trip, it was very successful. This ended up working well for them and so they became a couple and they've been married for over 13 years now. Kabi had a friend, a male friend, and together with his male friend, they decided to just have a double date with their girlfriends. And so at that time, Kabi was dating another lady and his friend was dating Mili. And that is the first time that Kabi and Mili met. Long story short, after a very long period of time, according to their story, Kabu was able to reach out to Mili again on Facebook and that marked the beginning of their love story. Both these couples are also parents. Kabu and Sarah have two children together and they don't shy away from showing them on social media and also on their YouTube channel. They are devoted parents who take family time very seriously and also take each and every opportunity available to travel with their children to exotic locations 
for family vacations. Similarly, the Wajiri family are parents. Together, Kabi and Mili are parents of one son and they are expecting another. The second pregnancy was announced in a very unique way on a billboard with a message, the family is expanding. Separately, Kabi has a baby girl whom he sired out of wedlock with his cousin. With that, we've come to the end of this episode and we hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon.